This next little bit that we're about to hit here is, uh, it's a little news. We're oh, breaking newsy. news on the Witching Hour Ooh. this week. Are you a fan of The Lost Boys at all? I enjoy it. It was came out when I was too young for it to be a huge nostalgia property for me. Okay. But I do enjoy it. I think I was in the same exact boat, but like semi-funny story that I'm going to try to tell appropriately right now. <laughs> um, when I went to undergrad my first year, you know how you could do like the random roommate thing? Mm -hmm. So I'm like, oh, I'm going to have the full college experience and have a random roommate. And I did. And the two of us did not get along mm -hmm. very well. The one thing, the only thing over the course of my first year of college that ever brought us together was her passion for the Lost Boys. Oh, wow. And she insisted I watched it, and I did, and I wound up loving it. And ever since then, I've watched it repeatedly, but it's just like I immediately, every single time the Lost Boys comes up, I immediately go back to that, uh, you know, that semi unpleasant experience I had in freshman dorms at NYU. <laughs> well, my <laughs> college story about the Lost Boys is that I went to college in Santa Cruz, which is where they shot the damn thing so there are lost boys vacation or des my brain destinations today. colleges locations. <laughs> locations all right <laughs> locations all over santa cruz oh, okay okay so i definitely you know had my jollies getting little pictures all and, right all right yeah. so we got, both got a little bit of a connection here yeah. and uh we're actually gonna loop good old jeff snyder into the mix right now because he tells us that he has been tracking a new Lost Boys TV series, the one that's happening over at the CW, and he is hearing that the Frog bro Brothers will actually be the Frog Sisters on this new show, and he's saying that their names are going to be Cassie and Liza, so I I find that pretty interesting. Haley, what, what does this make you think? It sounds exactly like the CW. It's exactly the kind mm -hmm. of thing they like to do when they bring back a new or an old property and do something new with it. Uh, yeah, I think it's, I sure, why yeah. not? I mean, it's perfect for their audience. They're going to probably eat that up, and it's sort of, you know, they, they do. They like to update the material when they update the material. Yeah, yeah. You know, Charmed, they made it a biracial family, mm -hmm. and they're, it's, it's great. I'm, my biggest concern is, is, is it going to be any good? Yeah, yeah. No, that's, I mean, that's still my biggest concern. And hearing this news, yeah, it gets me excited because as much as I love the original, if they're going to do another version of it, I do want them to shake it up a little. I don't necessarily think it had to be the Frog Sisters, but <laughs> right. it's, a, it's a cool possibility, especially given the nature of those characters in the original film. I I just like the idea of, of two ladies on screen having that kind of kooky vibe to them. And mm -hmm. I don't know why. I immediately uh, thought about this, but I was just so at Sundance. I covered this movie, Animals. It had um, Aaliyah Shawkat in it, mm -hmm. and also Holiday Granger. And it was just Aaliyah Shawkat in that movie. I feel like she would be. She's probably too old. I'm sure right. they're going for like you know, like Teenagers. the tween, the tween crowd here. Yeah. But she would have such a good vibe as one of the frogs. That would be great. Yeah, I wouldn't be mad at that. No. I know. <laughs> the other reason I think that it really makes sense, and um. You know, I not just because they like to update the material, but because they have a what is it, fifteen seasons now of Supernatural, which are brothers who hunt supernatural creatures. Good point. Thank I you. I like that. No, I like that. And you know, obviously, Supernatural has like this this wildly uh, dedicated oh fan my gosh, base, I and know. you know. I think it's about time for them to spark another thing that has that same level of dedication, even beyond, obviously, all the superhero shows. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't mind seeing, you know, especially especially if they're front and center, because I think that's the other question. If we're so focused on the Frog Sisters, I mean, is the show their show? Mm -hmm. Or is it from, you know, the other characters that we had in the original? I don't know. It's a good question. I'm sure it'll be pretty different. Uh, just to reference Charmed again, because I did watch a few episodes of their new version, like they kept the core elements, mm -hmm. like their mother died and they have to come together as sisters to find their power. And they have a white lighter who watches over them. Yeah, but they yeah. changed everything about it. Like the sisters are completely different. The white lighter is a little like, is he a good guy? Is mm. he a bad guy? I, it's all very, very different. So I would imagine that the same thing's going to happen. It's yeah, it core does concepts sound. and then change everything around those. It sounds like they would take that kind of route. I mean, and I applaud CW for that. Like yeah. they're kind of taking very familiar properties across the board and they're making them their own. And and clearly, I feel like they've been more successful than not. 
Usually, yeah. I mean, it's been a minute. I've long been a defender of the CW as some of the most interesting genre shows. But um, it's been a minute since they launched it, launched anything where I was like, they nailed it. Yeah. I think the last one was like the 100, which I still love. I need to watch that. I've heard over and over again how much I would love that show. And it's just it's like good. not enough hours <laughs> in the day. It's like pizza, peaks and troughs of quality. But uh, when it's good, it's really mm-hmm. good. I was trying to look up one of the most uh, recent reports regarding, uh, regarding the Lost Boys series. And uh, it looks like it came from from deadline in january about three weeks ago and uh they they basically are saying that it looks like it was it was picked up they put in a an order for the pilot so Mm -hmm. that basically doesn't surprise me that we're casting right now they put in an order for like three pilots right that was Mm -hmm. one of them i believe so yeah and then the jane the virgin spinoff and riverdale spinoff yeah it looks like uh the synopsis that they have here what the article i'm looking at is the uh is the original movie so i don't think we have any details other than the frog sisters now regarding what the story is going to be but I am pumped to hear more. If they ordered, uh, if they ordered a pilot, I imagine we will hear more soon. So yeah. fingers crossed, this all pans out real well. I hope so. I like what they did with vampire narratives recently on um, the Vampire Diaries, which I didn't watch all the way through. But the first neither did I. Three seasons were pretty Funny groovy. Funny thing, that's where I stopped. Yeah, and then, well, because the end of season three, that's when it started to get like a little repetitive. Yeah. But I will say, for the first two seasons, they didn't just like have me hooked. But like, I thought it was it was freaking good oh, TV. I barreled through those episodes. I loved it. I was, yeah. Well, it's Kevin Williamson. We love we love stuff. Kevin Williamson. <laughs>